Whether you're looking to go up in weights and add to your current home gym, or you're brand new to fitness, looking to find the best weights that aren't gonna hurt your hands, cause blisters, and maybe that are pretty to look at, this video is for you. You guys know I love doing nutrition and fitness reviews here on the channel, in addition to bringing you home workouts and tips and strategies to live your best life and balance your blood sugar. So today I wanna to talk about some of my new favorite home fitness equipment that I think you're genuinely going to love. Now, if you find value from this video and you decide to purchase the dumbbells that I'm gonna talk about today, use my code DBN10 for 10% off anything that you find at Wee Gym. Today, we're gonna to talk about Wee Gym's new Safe Grip dumbbells. You can choose anywhere from two pounds to 20 pounds and they have every size that you can think of in between to give you the best bang for your buck in your home workouts. So first let's talk about the material. Weegem has an anti-slip PVC shell with a solid iron core. So that means it's really, really solid. The weight is very balanced on the inside. We're gonna get to why this matters and how it compares to other things here in a second, but I think it has a really solid balanced feel to it. And the outside is this grippy material. One thing that I found really difficult with the soft dumbbells or not like soft but like the outside is not metal in other words is that a there is not a whole lot of selection in the types of dumbbells you can get. Um, usually there's, there's not a lot of options when it comes to this. I found it was a really hard time finding 12 pounds and 15 pounds and 20 pounds in like the neoprene style dumbbells. The other thing that I found to be a really big struggle is that once you get to these heavier weights, the size and shape seems to get a little funky when we hit 12 pounds. I will show you an example. Here is the 12 pound dumbbells that I got from Walmart. And at first glance, they don't look too incredibly weird, especially not on camera. I feel like they look kind of normal, but if you kind of check it out, it is a little bit long, especially if you compare it to my hand, you can almost fit two hands on this dumbbell grip. And while you may not think much of it, it kind of gives you a wobbly experience when you are lifting. So here is the 12 pound from Walmart. And here is a side-by-side -side comparison with Wee Gym. You can tell that the Wee Gym one is significantly shorter and that makes a big difference in the feel of the dumbbell and the strength and power that you're getting from the moves that you do with this. It's not gonna seem like a big deal at first, but I find myself, especially when I'm like, see, holding it at my shoulder, doing like a power move, like raising it above my head, I get a little bit of wobble, which I guess you can argue helps with stability, but I think that Wee Gym's dumbbell definitely is superior to the ones that I've found in store elsewhere. A little bit of stating the obvious, you can see that Wee Gym has a square dumbbell instead of the hexagonal shape in your typical dumbbell. And that's gonna help you for when you do moves that are on the floor. Maybe your, your fists are around the dumbbell and you're doing a push up, or you're doing a plank, holding the dumbbell and doing some rows. Also has a really wide grip, so you're not like straining your wrists when you're doing these moves. I also want to compare my 15 pound Wee Gym dumbbells to my Peloton dumbbells. This is gonna be a really awkward hold, but I'll put some B-roll on, up on here to make it look less weird. So you can see that they're similar in that they're shaped the same. They both have a square end to them, but the Peloton one is significantly larger than the Wee Gym one. So I think that that also, I don't have such an issue with the wobbly balancey thing as I do with the 12 pounders that I showed you before. However, I will say when I do things like hinges, a lot of times I do have to watch out for my knees because I kind of bump them a little bit because they're so large. And then also with certain things like holding the dumbbell in different ways, I feel almost like this is a little too slippery for me. It feels like I might drop it um, because this plastic part at the end is slippery. I'm not talking crap on my Peloton weights. The 15 pounds are actually the only ones that I have in the Pelotons and I do like them, but the I don't love how big the square part is. 
And when you compare it to the Wee Gem Dumbbells, I just feel like I have a lot better of a grip on the 15 pounds than I do um, on my Peloton ones. And maybe, maybe it's different for men or someone who has larger hands than I do. But for me, with little small uh, lady hands, I just find that I don't feel 100% comfortable carrying uh, the Peloton ones with such a large grip. Are you also in the small hands club? Let me know in the comment section below. As you can tell, my dumbbells are the rose color. I got them in 10 pounds, 12 pounds, 15 pounds, and 20. And as I stated earlier in the video, you can get anywhere from two pounds to 20 pounds on Wee Gym's website. So there's a lot of variety. And I think the best thing that you've probably noticed me showing off is that there's a 12 pound weight. It took me forever to even find the option to have a 12 pound weight. And again, when I did, I wasn't really satisfied with the shape. So I'm really glad that I was able to upgrade there. You can choose between their forest green their rose color like you see here, their sandstone, which is a nice little beigey um, aesthetic, kind of like off-white color, and also their slate, which is more of like a gray color. And all of the dumbbell weights are available in all colors, so you can kind of pick and choose if you want to mix it up, or if you want to have all the same color so you kind of have the same aesthetic in your gym. I know for me, my weights are out in the open, and so having them kind of look and appear aesthetically pleasing to the eye is important to me. Now I have to admit that I have a little bit of FOMO with the sandstone color, so I don't know, maybe I'm gonna get a little upgrade for my lighter weights and do all of the lighter weights in sandstone and the larger weights, heavier weights in the rose color. You let me know in the comment section below what's your favorite color, but those definitely, the rose and the sandstone are my personal favorites. Now for the price point, which you're probably interested in because this of course weighs into your decision when purchasing. Since I have the heavier weights, I'm gonna give you a highlight into those. So the 20 pound set is $100, the 15 pound set is $85, the 12 pound set is 70, and the 10 pound set is 56. Now. I did do a quick comparison to Target's neoprene dumbbells, which are the closest comparison we can make to Wee Gym's dumbbells. And there was anywhere from a $10 to about a $35 difference between Target and Wee Gym, Target being the cheaper one. What I will say is that you don't really have the option to choose your colors with Target. You kind of just get what you get, um, whether it's blue or red or orange, you kind of don't have the option to match and pick which ones you want. You just have to go with what they have, which for example, I absolutely loathe this like brick red color, but here I am had to choose it because it was the only option in the 12 pounds. The other thing that I want you to consider with dumbbells is that unless someone steals it, you lose it or you have to just repurchase because you hate the dumbbell color or shape or size, you're never going to repurchase dumbbells, right? So it's an investment and I say just invest in what you like and what feels better and what looks better in your gym, what you're going to have for a lifetime versus like what's cheaper. That's my humble opinion. I'm a, I'm a Leo, so I love quality. So do what you will, of course, and make the purchase that's right for you. But in my humble opinion, I think that it's worth it to, to spend a little more. And you can always use my code DBN10 to get an extra 10% off to kind of bridge that gap a little bit. If you're still watching, thanks so much for watching my review and supporting the channel. I really love hearing from you guys, so make sure to comment below what's your favorite color and which one do you think you'll get if you decide to purchase. And also let me know what you'd like to see me review in the future, whether it's nutrition or fitness related, or what other questions about nutrition and fitness you have that I can answer on the channel. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.